What is going on there guys? It is Torment the Blitz King here. And I'm going to be telling you guys how to go flawless. In this game I went 23 and 0. We're playing uh, some Blitz on Octane. Uh, Octane is one of my favorite maps to play Blitz. Um, it's kind of just like a two-sided map. It's basically uh, kind of hard to describe, but it, to me it feels like there's a town on one side and a town on the other. And there's just uh, like an old uh, western type theme. But it's um, like western type structure, but it's uh, like an... Afghani type of theme with a gas station and yeah, and all the freaking sand and whatever that crap is. So this is definitely one of the easier maps for me to play. Um, it's easy for me to flank around. Uh, the one thing is you get caught a lot if you got in the middle, so I wouldn't recommend that on this map uh, unless you have cover and you know that there is no one up in buildings. But people do pop out from anywhere, so I would uh, be careful of that. Um, so going flawless in Ghost is not one of the easiest things to do at first. It was really hard to do. It was actually really hard for me to get uh, very high gameplays, but then as I played the game more and got better at it, uh, it started to become easier. So um, this is my fourth flawless game. I did not record the first three because, as in, as most of you know, that in Ghost now you do not have theater mode, so we do have to have your capture card on all the time, which I have been doing now. I pretty much as soon as I turn my Xbox on, my capture card's on, and uh, for those of you who are wondering, I use a Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, but I will be upgrading to an Elgato uh, hopefully soon. Um, by Christmas is my goal, but it's not 100% about that. I am, you know, focusing on getting better internet and a monitor and other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so Flawless, uh, sorry, I've been rumbling this whole time, and it's like already a minute 40 in, but, um, Sorry about that, guys. But get going flawless in Ghost. Uh, you basically, to sum it all up, you you want to play smart. You don't really want to rush out there a lot. Um, also, you need to know what gun you're using on what map. If it's a larger map, which I mean, I know in Ghost, a lot of the maps and basically all of them are fairly large. You need to look at the structures that are there. If there's a lot of buildings and a lot of close quarters battles that you know you're going to be getting into, use a sub. If you know you're going to be getting into a lot of long range battles, use a sniper or um, a marksman rifle or um, an AR. And then some games uh, or some maps, it's also there also are times when you do find yourself in a close quarters battle and you do maybe have an AR but things like that are gonna happen it's not it's not like oh this map is very very large and there's very open spaces every battle is gonna be a long-range gunfight that's not how it is so you gotta just what's more likely you're more likely to get in a, a close range gunfight on this map I feel like it's a 60 40 I feel like 60 percent of the time you're gonna get in a close range gunfight 40% of the time you're going to get into a long range gunfight because of uh, personally because of my play style uh, I like to you know not just run straight up the middle where people are going to be shooting at me from above and from far away I like to flank around and go around the trucks and the buildings and things like that and go and get to the blitz or uh, to the portal so for me it's going to be a sub on this map and as you guys can see I'm using the MTAR which is one of the best guns uh, in the game it's the main uh, or I feel it's the main competitive Call of Duty uh, sub and it's an all-around good gun so I would definitely recommend using that on Octane um, but another thing is back to what I was saying uh, your weapon you need to basically know the map and and know your playstyle so uh, talking about your playstyle if you're a rushing person definitely want to use a sub if you're more of a passive type of player then you want to use an AR but let's say you are a rushing person and it's an open map then you are gonna still wanna use um, the AR because you're gonna find yourself in more long-range gun fights. now let's say you're terrible with an AR you just can't use them you need to be able to use this sub the proper way you need to be able to flank around maps and and stay in the cover and not get yourself out in the open wait for them to come to you sometimes it doesn't mean you camp you don't camp to go flawless um, it is possible, obviously, you can just sit in a corner, let's say you get one kill, or you get no kills, or you get three kills, whatever. That's that's not really the proper way to do it. I mean, it, if you want a high-scoring flawless, then you need to you need to play smart, and um, pretty much just thinking about where you're going. Don't If you know that you're just going to run out in the open just because you're going to do it, don't really, don't do that. Just pretty much just don't do it. Um, if you're reloading, if you just got a kill and you're reloading, don't run out 
uh, into the open while you're still reloading. Wait for your gun to reload, and I find this happening a lot to people. I'll be watching videos, or I'll even be spectating over someone, or just watching a game, and I'll see a guy kill someone, and then he'll immediately reload and start running out there, and then they'll die. And that's a major thing I see people doing, which is something you definitely need to fix um, if you're doing that. It's not like the easiest thing to fix because you will catch yourself still reloading and running out there but um yeah guys so i hope you guys like this video go uh check out the links in the description uh check out skylinegamingnetwork.com we're also going to be having a new website soon we're actually rebuilding it um, i'm pretty sure it's going to be the same name but uh we're just rebuilding a new website and we'll have tournaments up soon uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also like the video and um I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is, uh, well, obviously you don't notice because I've done this like 60 times, but this is like my 10th helo pilot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Have a nice day. Don't forget to sub. Peace.